look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, it looks like an m and but you never know if they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and get that early lead, they can put pressure on the favorite. The Fighting Illini should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper, but what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. First, play your game. It's up to the point guard to make certain that they stay in their game and they play at their pace. Second of all, get the ball inside for the high percentage shot. That'll open up the outside game as well. And finally, take care of the rock. No turnovers, baby. Turnovers only lead to easy scores the other way. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. For two. Oh, yes. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. High post flashes. Goes up for two. And in and out. He got fouled and the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time score. He goes to the line for the first time. It goes in. Combs receives the ball. Flair pump fakes. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block for the bucket. He gets the bucket to fall. High post player flashing. Down inside. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Applying pressure. Trying to feed the low block. There it is. Jam City. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. High post flasher is open. Entry pass in the paint. Time to pick up the defense here now. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Nice shot. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. They go into the low block, and there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? On the outside. Now trying to feed the low block. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Gave it up. Cross handles the pass. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Jackson receives the pass. And he'll kick it back outside. They work the perimeter. The skip pass is picked off. The power forward handles the feed. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Dunkaroo. 
Assembly Hall is about to explode. It is mayhem in here. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. He up fakes. For two. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Nice box. Goes up for two and off the mark. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Work it inside and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. Bob, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He shoots from the angle, gets it to fall. Both teams looking to get things going here. They'll work it around the arc. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's <laughs> pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? The lane. Bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Launches away. Colgate have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Takes the pass in the paint. They move it into the front court. And they get the turnover. And he'll kick it back outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. Nice move with a face up. I tell you what, John, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Tries for two. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. I'm running right at this. He rejects it. Sinks it. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. For two. Perfectly executed. Oh, 
on the outside. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. In the paint, and now they'll bring it up. They strip him of the basketball. Got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Oh, he's having fun with the opponents, Dick. He sure is, but he's got to make sure that he doesn't cross the line. Looking for a good shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Colgate are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. He threw it down and still one to come. He saw that opening and took it right to the rack, baby. I don't even know if he felt the foul. What a play! These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? They're definitely having some fun out there. He goes to the line for the first time. There's a reason they're called free throws. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. The Big Ten, are they still a powerhouse conference, Dick? It's still a good conference, Brad. Not like the Big Ten teams in the 80s, though. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, it's still early, but I'm hearing on the sidelines there needs to be some sort of rhythm established before this one gets out of hand. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. the second shot. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Working it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Finnick, great block shot. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Puts up the tray. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He gets it to fall. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Kicks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. Now they work it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. Married it.
stolen away. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Adam in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. High post screen. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Look at these fans, they're loving it. The Ruckus fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He intercepts it, pushes it up. They'll work it around the arc. Jumps in. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Pushing that basketball. Stolen away. Gave it up. Kicked off. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. With a bucket, perfectly executed. That's an eight zip run. The Fighting Illini will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Looking for a good shot. Intercepted. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented blocks that they have. Yeah, that helps. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Nothing but nylon, nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Up and inside. Takes the pass in the paint, tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket.
Working it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. Perfectly executed. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. They work the perimeter. Looks at the three. Great shot. Replay of the night, baby. Fakes a jumper. Tries to get the D to bite. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. From three-point territory. That was nice. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. On the dribble, gives it up. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Colgate are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. On the inside. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Takes the pass in the paint. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Finney wants even more support from the fans, Dick. He wants everyone up for the possession. The hall has reached extreme levels. These fans are ecstatic. This might be Carbondale, Illinois, and it's finest, baby. On the outside. Or two. Great play to take that to the basket. Shot clock is dead. Steals a pass. Goes up for two. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. There's the trap. And his shot rejected at the end of the first half. The Fighting Illini are up by four. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. is showing some deadly accuracy from the field in the first half. Hey, for sure, Brad, this kind of accuracy can easily be carried over to the second half if they continue to be patient with the rock. Patience and poise usually equals points. This is kind of what we expected, uh, Richard. You know, going into this ball game, we didn't expect it to be close in the first half, and it wasn't. They're really going to have to really, really regroup and come out with some fire and get some momentum. It's essential they go on a spurt to get some confidence. If they don't get a spurt, hey, Brad, you got all your material ready? Because we're going to have to hit and talk about everything, baseball, basketball, football. Hey, who's going to win the Super Bowl? Bucket. 
He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. There they come with a double team to stop it. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The Raiders are down by four. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. The ball goes out of bounds. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He shoots. That's good. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. He launches a three. Tickles a twine. The Fighting Illini are ahead by five. On the outside, from beyond the arc, he shows a sweet touch. I need to see that again, Brad. Tries for two, perfectly executed. Take another look at that play. Here's a double team. And one too many dribbles and a steal. They are really keeping the dogs at bay on D-Dick. Hey, they got him frustrated. For two, Illinois are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Goes up for two. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious struggle with their shooting, Brad. in front to take it away. He makes a nice shot fake. He was looking for the call and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul. No doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. In the paint for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He shoots from downtown. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fellow seems to be their only hope at the moment. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. And a momentary look from three-point land. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's the fake. 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For two, perfectly executed. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Picks off the pass. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Knocks it down. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Good job defensively. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Now they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. In and out. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. away to pass. Whalen in the post. Whalen makes a great move to draw the foul. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Number 32 walks out to get his first minutes tonight. They have such a deep bench, Brad. This kid could start for any program in the land. Except this one, apparently. Well, you never know what the story really is. Got it from the free throw line. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Picked off. They'll work it around the arc. Count that as a personal foul. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. He shoots from long range. It sticks. Up fake. There's a double team waiting there. Pump fakes. They work it back to the outside. Double team now, bad angle. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. They work the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. For two. 
I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Went away from the post and goes the other way. He tries the three ball. He buries it. Up and inside. Fakes the shot. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. On the outside. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Stolen away. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Here they go into the break. For the bucket. Makes it. The Raiders trail by five. He looks for three. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. On the outside. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Entry pass in the paint. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Jump hook from the low block. I didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Gave it up. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Pass down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Colgate are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're gonna keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. This whole team that's on the floor is quick, but so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Side with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad, during halftime, both coaches told me they were somewhat surprised this game was so close, but they both emphasized they need to cut down on turnovers here in the second half. For two, way off target. Leans in. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. There's the screen up on top. Easy one. He strips him clean. Center it, center it. And they're going to count it. Determination, baby. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. He sinks it. That's a 7-0 run. <laughs> the 
Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle too when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Gave it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. That spin move is not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defense. From right in the circle, there's a three and it goes. What a big time shot. for two and he missed trying to draw some contact <laughs> assembly hall is about to explode it is mayhem in here swatted from behind never saw him coming brad Right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Stolen ball. He shoots from right of the circle, and he buries the three. The Fighting Illini are up by 10. Picks off the pass. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Steals the pass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He blocks the shot. Off the rim and no good. the dribble gives it up top of the circle Dick they really need to get something going in a hurry here yeah call time out and get your boys into the game Brad and a momentary look from three-point land looking for a good shot goes up for two the land That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. He puts up the three ball. Rims out. He intercepts it. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man. There's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. High post screen, gonna use it. For the bucket, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. On the inside, controlling the ball. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. They look like they're having a blast. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. 
Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Working it around the perimeter. He unloads a three. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Picks off the lazy pass. They'll work it around the arc. Up and inside. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Great play to take that to the basket. Gives it up. Picked out of the air. And working around the perimeter. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Set in. He intercepts it. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. Fires from long range. He drains the bucket. The shooting guard takes the feed. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. And the ball goes out of play. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them, they're celebrating. Hey, can you blame them, bro? They're playing well. Inside. Shot clock is dead. He looks for the bomb. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Illinois comes away with the W in this matchup. Well, they may have come in a little overconfident, but they held their composure at the end. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.